Good evening. We have an extended national lockdown till the 3rd of May. It's a bit longer than many state governments were actually asking for, perhaps because we of course have a national holiday on the 1st of May and then Saturday, Sunday on the 2nd and 3rd. So the Prime Minister came out today, made that announcement, thanked the people of the country for their cooperation, for their sacrifice, said that they were brave soldiers who were safeguarding the nation and all of that was good. He then told them about the extended lockdown and he did say that on the 20th, there's going to be a judgment done. So the Prime Minister also said that the government's going to be judging how well the lockdown is being enforced in a number of areas, in all areas across the country. And then if it is really being effective in some places, perhaps there will be a relaxation after the 20th which is just about a week away. In places where the, there are lots of COVID cases or the lockdown is not being enforced, then there will be tighter measures that will be enforced. Now, all of that is good, of course, and the government again squarely placing the onus on citizens to do their bit for the nation. But some people were left scratching their heads a little bit and saying, look, all of that is fine, but we really need the government also to come out and do something for us. The citizens do something for the poor, do something for people whose companies are shutting down, try and release the food grains. Where is that economic package? It is possible that a lot of that will be announced tomorrow. When the details of this lockdown extension are announced by the government, everyone's crossing their fingers and hoping that that economic package of some sort or the other will come. How will the harvest be done? How will uh, food grains be provided? All of those details perhaps being announced tomorrow. So here's what the Prime Minister actually said today and the rest of the day's headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday announced the extension of the nationwide lockdown to fight coronavirus till May 3rd. The Prime Minister said that the lockdown and social distancing helped a lot in containing the spread of the virus and all the states, experts and people agreed that we need to extend it. The Prime Minister also added that the economic cost and hardships are necessary but small price to pay to save India from COVID-19 pandemic. कि भारत में लॉकडाउन को अब तीन मई तक और बढ़ाना पड़ेगा। While announcing the extension of nationwide lockdown till May 3rd, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that some conditional and graded relaxations will be given in some areas after assessing the situation after April 20th. The Prime Minister said that the areas that will show improvement in COVID-19 situation and those that save themselves from turning into hotspots will get some relief to start economic activity. Jo apne hotspot nahi badne denge. और जिनके हॉटस्पॉट्स में बदलने की आशंका भी कम होगी वहां पर 20 अप्रैल से कुछ जरूरी गतिविधियों की अनुमति छुटछाट दी जा सकती है लेकिन याद रखिए ये अनुमति सशर्त होगी बाहर निकलने के नियम बहुत सख्त होंगे। The Congress on Tuesday asked Prime Minister Narendra Modi to spell out the government's strategy to tackle coronavirus and what steps it plans to take to mitigate woes of migrant labourers and farmers waiting to harvest crops. Congress spokesperson Manish Tiwari said the Prime Minister has not talked about the plight of migrant workers who are quarantined at state borders and what the government intends to do about them. What is the government doing in order to expand the level of testing? How many testing kits have, does India have at this point in time? How many of those can it really deploy for community testing? What are the areas which have been identified or where states have been instructed that which are the areas you know where community testing uh, needs to be carried out or prioritized? These are the kind of things that you want to hear. The Shiv Sena and NCP said Prime Minister Narendra Modi's address to the nation on Tuesday lacked substance as he did not suggest ways to strengthen the economy or a relief package for the poor and those worst hit by the lockdown. Shiv Sena also took a dick at the Prime Minister saying that he thankfully did not give any activity to people this time, clanging utensils and lighting lamps. Maharashtra Minister and NCP National Spokesman Nawab Malik noted that Prime Minister Modi talked about helping the poor but he could not have announced a package on on behalf of the central government to help them. 
The World Health Organization on Tuesday lauded India's tough and timely actions against the coronavirus spread as Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the extension of current lockdown till May 3rd. WHO Southeast Asia Regional Director Dr. Poonam Khetrapal Singh said, It may be early to talk about results in numbers, but a six-week nationwide lockdown to facilitate effective physical distancing, coupled with the expansion of core public health measures such as detection, isolation and tracing contact of coronavirus-positive people, would go a long way in arresting the virus spread. After touching another record high on Monday, gold prices are expected to continue on an upward trajectory and are likely to touch 50 to 55,000 rupees per 10 gram by the end of 2020, as reported by moneycontrol.com. On MCX, June gold figures surged over 2% to a new high of 46,385. With most investments giving negative returns in the last few months, the yellow metal gave over 23% return in 2019 and has already given 15% so far in 2020. The prices are likely to shoot up with fear, speculation and uncertainty around the current economic situation. The International Monetary Fund has said it would provide immediate debt relief to 25 member countries under its Catastrophe Containment and Relief Trust. IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva said about $215 million would be used for grants to the poorest and the most vulnerable members to cover their IMF debt obligations for an initial phase over the next six months. As parents wait for a school fee waiver during the nationwide COVID-19 lockdown, several schools have reportedly announced a fee hike. Parents have now started an online petition to the HRD Ministry demanding a directive to schools to not hike fees for this academic session at least till schools reopen. The Gujarat and Bengal governments have announced that private schools will not hike fees for a year. However, no clear instructions have been issued on fee hike by schools in Delhi NCR. 20,000 people have died because of the novel coronavirus in Italy, with the country reporting 566 deaths on Monday. 3,153 new cases have been detected in the past 24 hours, a 1.9% increase that brings the total number of positive cases in the country to 1,60,000. This is one of the lowest daily increase in infections reported by Italy in weeks, bolstering a generally downward trend. Slightly eased restrictions were about to take effect in some sectors of the country, such as allowing stores selling necessities for newborns to reopen. In the absence of any conclusive evidence, the World Health Organization has refused to recommend BCG vaccination for the prevention of COVID-19. The WHO said it has reviewed three recently published preprint studies claiming a lower number of coronavirus cases in countries having BCG vaccination and found no evidence that BCG offers protection from the virus. The WHO said there is experimental evidence from both animal and human studies that the BCG vaccine has non-specific effects on the immune system. These effects have not been well characterized and their clinical relevance is unknown.